Hi, my name is Art and I'm the Principal Consultant from Excellent. Today I will show you how an organization using Microsoft Enter ID can invite users from another organization using Google Workspace as the main identity platform and allow them to authenticate using their existing Google credentials. Microsoft has a pretty seamless integration between two Enter ID tenants when both organizations are using one with configurable inbound and outbound settings and things like uh, trusting remote tenant to perform the MFA challenge. But this is uh, outside of scope for today's discussion. For non-Microsoft Entra enabled organizations, Microsoft allows direct federation using SAML or WSFED capable endpoint. Those are the only two supported protocols. This can be uh, an ADFS server or some other uh, SAML capable platform such as SiteMinder, ForgeRock, and, and many more. This feature is called external identity providers. Google Workspace is a fairly popular identity management platform for organizations of all sizes and uh, is a SAML capable identity provider this means it can be used for direct federation as an external identity provider in Entra. For today's demo, I have my Excellent production Entra ID tenant with Excellent.ca domain name registered and a fictional uh, Digidata corporation which uses uh, Google Workspace as identity management platform with uh, Digidata.ca custom domain name. So let's see how we can configure this type of federation. First, we need to configure the Google Workspace side of things. And we begin that by logging into the Google Workspace administration portal. We start by going into apps, then web and mobile apps. Then we want to add a custom SAML app for the app name. We'll just put Excellent Enter ID, but this this can be anything. Description could also be anything. So just for clarity, this is the remote connected organization performing this. We'll need to download the metadata file. Uh, we'll need that for SAML configuration on the Enter ID site later on. Click Continue. For ACS URL, it's uh, the same URL for any Enter ID tenant, generic. And the entity ID. is a URI based value, but that includes your Enter ID tenant, uh, tenant ID. Uh, the uh, name ID format must be persistent. The basic information will be primary email. There needs to be a mapping because Enter ID requires an email address claim to be present in a SAML token. So we'll choose primary email And the claim that's going to show up in the SAML token or SAML assertion must be formatted like this. I will add the link to a tutorial from Microsoft where these values are um, discussed in the description of the video. So oh, uh, Google sometimes can get an error. So if we now go back and look at the uh, con configured application, it looks like that. It's a SAML application. It's a web SAML application. Now, before anything, this must be enabled because right now it's off for all the users. So no user will be able to use it. So we have to say on for everyone, or this can be done by our organization unit or by group. Uh, for us, for the demonstration, we'll just enable it for everyone. Click Save. And 
the application is now configured and enabled for everyone to be able to use to use this uh, federation. Next, we have to configure the Entra ID side of things uh, for Excellent to be able to allow Digidata users uh, to use their existing Google identity and authentication process. In Entra, we will create a new SAML or WS Fed identity provider. We'll just call it Digidata so that we know which organization it is and just maybe a G Suite. Identity protocol will be SAML because that's what we're using. The main name is digitata.ca. And for populating metadata, we have downloaded the file. So we will use the file to pre-populate the needed values. Double check, everything got imported. Metadata URL is optional since we're using file. And we save that. So the main is not Entra ID verified, so we double check that there is no Entra ID registered for digitata.ca. And now we have our identity provider. So now we can invite a new user from the remote organization. It's a new user. This user doesn't exist in our tenant yet. It's art at digitata.ca. We'll just keep everything as default. Put some minimal information, first name, last name, nothing else. We don't need anything else for invitation, no assignments, and we'll just invite the user to our tenant. So this user has never logged into our tenant, doesn't exist. I don't have any users from that remote organization in my tenant. And there is our user here. Invited as a guest, as a B2B or guest user into Entra ID. So now that our configuration is complete on both sides, Google Workspace and Entra ID, let's see what the user uh, invitation redemption and authentication process is going to be with this new new configuration. So typically you get an invitation email, but I already copied the URL that you use to redeem the invitation and I just pasted it into the window. So my tenant recognizes it's a Google connected organization and sends me to authenticate with my Google credentials. After that, there are a couple of consent screens to go through, organizational and access to my personal profile, which I accept. Because I have a global uh, MFA enabled on my tenant, everyone must enroll. So here we are enrolling into MFA and I will just use the standard Microsoft Authenticator app. I scan the QR code. Then I must verify that enrollment by typing 58, pressing yes, and we are all approved. So now that I've enrolled into MFA, everything is done and I can be sent to the my applications or my apps portal from the Excellent organization. And I am indeed using my Google Workspace credential to log into the my applications portal. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions or would like to discuss your identity challenges 
or requirements, Excellent is an expert in all aspects of identity, including enterprise identity, consumer identity, and identity governance. Please visit our website for more information. Thank you.